to make this video so you guys can see this raw attitude I have right now. I'm so fucking pissed off. Today I went to my fertility clinic to get blood work done. Um, and then Thursday I'm supposed to go and get um, my sano whatever the fuck it's called I can't think of it right now I'm so fucking mad so I leave out of the clinic I'm I went out to eat right after I left the clinic and then I get an email from my nurse and she's basically telling me that I'm gonna have to stop IVF stop taking my birth control because my doctor is going to be out of the office. And I'm just like completely fucking confused. Because I'm like, if, like, how do you just figure this out? Like, how do you just learn this? Like, don't you put in vacation or whatever? Like, I don't understand how do you just put this time in, like, right now? Like, don't you know when you're going to go on vacation? So you don't schedule people for fucking IVF or egg retrieval? Like, I'm, I'm completely confused. So I asked my um, doctor or asked the nurse, is it possible that I can switch to the other doctor while my doctor is fucking out of vacation or whatever the fuck is going on so she tells me um no unfortunately both of the doctors are going to be out and then she was like they're they have their scheduling uh maintenance or whatever um like every i can't remember if it's like every month or every couple of months the um the uh, clinic goes under maintenance so they can like take care of everything that's in there or whatever um, every clinic does that but I'm just like how did you not know this shit like how do you just start somebody on IVF medication and then tell them oh no stop taking it our clinic isn't going under maintenance and the doctors are gonna be out. Like, how do you not know this before you tell someone to start their IVF medication? And then I'm really pissed off because the birth control, the last time I started my birth control, like, it messed up my cycle. Like, it completely messed up my cycle where it never came. So I had it. I had a couple refills left on um, Prevera, but I had one refill left. So I had to end up going to get that refill just so I can have my period because it wasn't coming because of the birth control pills. So now that I've started the birth control pills again and she wants me to stop, now my period is gonna do the same shit that it did the last time I started the birth control pills. Like, I'm so freaking mad. I'm so angry. Like, ugh, y'all. I'm so mad right now. I'm so fucking mad right now. But I just had to hop on my phone and make this video so you guys can see how angry I am right now. I'm so angry. But I'll talk to you guys later. I just I need I need some time 
Hey guys, so it's a day after the bullshit. Um, I still feel some kind of way about um, having to stop IVF this cycle. Um, I'm, I'm really pissed off still. Um, but I'm going to try something myself and see what happens. Um, if nothing happens, then IVF will start back up in October. Yeah, it'll start back up in October. <sighs> but yeah, I'm still feeling some kind of way. And I know you guys understand why. I need to clean that area up. That's so, bleh. Um, oh well, but... Um, I know you guys understand why I feel the way that I feel. For all of you guys out there that are on the TTC journey, um, to get a setback like that when you're super excited to start, it's, it makes you angry because you've waited all this time to try to get pregnant and and then when it's when that moment is taken from you and even though it's just delayed a little bit it's like when that moment is taken from you you feel like oh my god when she told me that i wanted to punch everybody on site like everybody that either bumped into me or looked my direction or even spoke to me I wanted to punch him in the throat you guys like legit punch him in the, the throat I was that angry like I was so mad but then I regrouped and got it together and I was like hey you know what I'm gonna try this one thing on my own and see what happens and if nothing happens, then the only thing that I can do is just wait until um, October. I mean, yeah, October. That's all I can do. So, <sighs> I'm not really going to say what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna see what happens and then if it happens then I'll tell you guys if um, nothing happens then nothing happens and you guys will know about me moving forward with IVF next month so with that being said um, I just wanted to end the the rant from yesterday's um, vlog and stop it mama Oh, she's scratching. I thought she was scratching the floor. Um, I just wanted to end the vlog with this, letting you guys know that I'm still upset, but I'm going to be okay. So, yeah. <sighs> the journey still continues. Just a slight delay. So, go ahead and comment and subscribe. Um... Wait, is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Well, I have, before I let you guys go, um, I have, I have about a week before we bring the new pup home. Me and mama's bring the new pup home. So, um, and I have, I've picked a name out for her. Because they named her Danny, and I'm not going to name my dog Danny. But I picked out a name, and I think I'm going to name her Naya. Naya or Nyla, one of those. Um, but yeah, so I have about a week before we bring her home. And that's about it. So... With that being said, you guys go ahead and comment, subscribe, 
um make sure you hit the bell so you know when i post another video and let's get these subscribers up guys i love you guys until the next video bye